All right, so you want me to start doing reviews again? All right, fine. Here we go. Dead Space Remake is fire. Go buy it so I can get a Dead Space 2. That's it. Just go buy the game. What else do you need to know? Nothing. Just go buy it. By now, you should be able to take me at my word and trust me. I shouldn't have to explain or demonstrate how good the game is. I've never steered you wrong. Think about it. Right? Just go buy the game. That's that's all you really need to hear from me is if I recommend the game or not. And I just told you the game is fire, so go buy it. That should be the end of this review. I shouldn't have to say nothing else. But for those of you who still need a little bit more convincing, I'm going to tell you the bare minimum. All right. So story. Boom. Right? So the story is about Isaac Clark, the most unluckiest space engineer you've ever met. He's also a little bit of a simp because he's going through hell and high water to find his little girlfriend, Nicole, who, by the way, ain't even that bad. She's not bad enough to be going through all this shit for. But I ain't cool. I ain't judge. So he's an engineer, and he has to fix up the Ishimura anyway. So he's looking at it. Oh, just seeing my girlfriend will just be a plus since I got to do this job anyway. Soon as he gets on the Ishimura, shit hits the fan. And you got undead creatures with extra limbs trying to eat your face. Now the story touches on themes such as religion, environmentalism, and mental illness. Oh, you thought Senua from Hellblade was the first one to deal with mental issues, huh? You thought she was the first one to touch on mental health. No, 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 no. She wasn't the first one to deal with like schizophrenia, dementia, and all that. Nah, my man Isaac was the first one with the hallucinations on the block. Put some respect on his name. Let's talk about gameplay. So the gameplay is fire because you get a whole bunch of weapons designed for engineering and now you're using them to cut the limbs off these necromorphs. Yes, that's the name of the game, dismemberment. What's crazy is even though the game makes it very clear that the key is to aim for limbs, you still come across bozos who play this game like any other shooter and just aim for the head and the body. Morons, complete bozos. Anyway, you also got stasis to slow enemies down and you got kinesis to grab stuff and throw it. And there's a lot of like a lot more items in this game that were in the original game that, that you can use kinesis with, right? There's poles and small objects like fan blades that you can pick up and throw at enemies. And it's either gonna impale them and launch them like 30 feet into the wall, or it's just gonna slice them in half. So that's really cool. Then, of course you got your suit upgrades and your weapon upgrade tree, the typical stuff. There's a bunch of improvements from the original game like side missions, better level design uh, for backtracking and the zero gravity segments have been vastly improved as well. Dog, the game looked good. If you can buy it on PC, of course you should buy it there for the best visuals. The lighting, the shadows, the textures, ooh we. this game looked good. On PS5, the image can be a little soft though, so that's why I say you recommend uh, you buy it on PC, even though I think they patched the, uh, the PlayStation version and the PC version initially had some uh, stuttering, some slight stuttering problems, but I think that's all fixed now. Either way, if you can buy it on PC, that's where I would recommend it. The only problem in the game visually, I would say, is probably in the character face models. Those could use a little bit of work, right? There's not enough detail there. By the way, I beat this game three times, got the plat and all that jazz. And I only ran into like a few graphical issues and technical problems, so nothing major there. It's a very sound and stable game. Sound design, atmosphere, environment, all that is on point in this sci-fi horror game inspired by Resident Evil. Now my conclusion is the same as my intro. Go buy the game, you won't regret it. I don't care when or how you buy it or how much you buy it for, just support the game because it's great. And I need my Dead Space 2 remake. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I need that my G, I need that Lord. Go buy the games. Why are you still here bro? Buy it, go buy it on Steam. Epic Store, PS5, Xbox, whatever. Doesn't matter the platform. Is Google Stadia still up? No, it's dead. All right, don't buy it on there. But if it was, you gotta go buy it on there. What's that What's that trash platform that came out a few years ago that thought they was gonna light the world on fire? Ooh, yeah, it's not on there. All right, never mind. Point is, buy the game. You won't regret it. It's great. It's, it's a classic. It's a classic, okay? I give it a nine, nine out of 10. There you go. That's my review. And that's this is how my review is gonna be from now on, right? I'm not doing it the way I used to do it no more. 
This is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk to y'all like y'all the homies, like y'all grown men. I don't got to explain every little detail and hold y'all hand like y'all are children. Y'all know, first of all, anybody who knows me by now knows that if I review a game, that means I probably like it. I don't really review games that I don't like, which is why me reviewing a game in the first place is kind of redundant, which is why I kind of stopped doing them altogether. Because if I review it, you know I like it. And if I told you I like it on Twitter, and if I told you I like it on, on, on YouTube and everywhere else, then you know I like it. What's the point of a review? But fine, y'all want it, I'm gonna keep doing it. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.